we were trying to emulate the sounds of the city that we were living in. I'm talking about car alarms, police sirens, yelling and screaming, all those kind of sounds that you get just walking down the street. There's a lot of flowers in the Garden City and trams and old age tourists and stuff. You know, I think people reacted to that and kind of wanted to have their own little slice of hardcore. I don't think I knew any musicians in Christchurch who hadn't dabbled in junk. Christchurch in the 90s was a very junky town, a very pill-popping town, very alcoholic town, and yeah, um, it, it had that fuel to it. I was asked what was it like being in a band with two junkies, and I really didn't know the answer to that because I didn't perceive them as junkies. I was using to get out of it and be not normal. Mike, unfortunately, was in the horrible situation of needing him to feel normal. There was really no money at all from Mike and his music. If you were lucky, you might get, you know, 60 bucks from a gig or something, you know, if you were lucky. The sexual imagery of Squirm was heavily ironic, I think. I mean, no one in their right mind with you know, anything approximating 2020 vision is ever going to mistake us for pin-up boys. I was um, attempting to get Flying Nun interested, sending them uh, CDs. I think we had a shit gig in Auckland and one of their guys came along and, you know, we just destroyed ourselves on stage and that was that. Yeah, so back to being starving artists, I guess, you know. Mike lost quite a lot of weight in a year preceding his death. He was reluctant to go to hospital because his veins were so dreadfully damaged through drug use and he really didn't have anywhere to go. I went in and um, I couldn't revive him. When Squirm ended, there was the, the unfinished business of a third album. Now we're back in the studio, back here, re-recording that album. I really just want to put this puppy to rest and move on. It's not a documentary about a band. It's a documentary about an extended family that grows out of striving for some sort of artistic achievement documents your your environment, the people you know, the things you love and the things you hate and those things, you know, they mustn't disappear into the ether. <laughs>